I hope we're not boarding you to death. But we've got another gallery wall episode. Welcome to IOD Gallery Wall Series, Episode 7. We are tackling the typeset piece and the classic bouquets. If you guys have been following along with our IOD Gallery Series, then you know what we've got here. We've, paint, we've sanded our boards, we have painted them, and we have taped off the mat. But before we go further, bonus project, we also have the street signs that you guys have seen in the gallery wall. And this is a super fun project to personalize your gallery. So you can use the names of streets of places you've been, you can use your last name, um, you can make it an, a little fun anniversary gift for your spouse of your first home together. An opportunity to highlight little um, memories and memories. Yeah, so we're gonna show you that one also. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is use our decor transfer in classic bouquet. And the gridded lines make it really handy to cut exactly where you want to cut. We are using this lower left from the classic bouquet. Please note our never stick backing so that when you go to use your transfer, mm -hmm. it will not be stuck to this part, which is the protective back sheet. It will not. You want to make sure to keep that back sheet together with your transfer to protect. You the don't want back. dust or debris. debris getting on that adhesive because then it does not stick anymore. Yeah. Now, move that out of my way, assistant. <laughs> I will put this back in this tube for future use. Our stick is new as well. Well, new-ish. We improved those so that they don't break on you. They don't. They've got a lot of flex. No. <laughs> Ooh, I saw that coming. Okay. As you're laying down your transfer, when you're deciding where to put it, be careful. It will want, once you take the protective backing off, it will want to stick. So kind of hover to decide where you want it. I want a little more of the cherub in there. Oh, okay. but you want to have the flower. Two, two. How about right there? That's good. You know what I would do is I would go in and trim it down a little. And I should have let you trim it the way you were planning on so that you could actually, I didn't realize it was so much bigger than the space. You could have trimmed it. A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. And then these edges okay. you would have had. You know what, I'm not project. gonna worry too much about that. <laughs> I love it. I love defying you. But I will cut this off so it doesn't get on my way. But that's what I said. <laughs> that was not what you said to do. You wanted me to cut it all off, which I'm not doing. <laughs> so, like, it takes the same exact amount of time to cut it in closer. It's true. It's true, and yet okay. it allows me to do it my way. I did it my way. Here, let's just go ahead and zip this off as well. These scissors, I'm not, um, they can leave you a little frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> there we All go. Right. All right. Don't fall back to your own spot there. All right. Use your hand to press down. Make sure your transfer's nice and on there. Yep. All right. While you apply the transfer to the classic bouquet piece, I am going to get my graphite area. Oh, 
I am going to not get a total solid coverage. I want to have um, not dry brush. It's definitely not a dry brush look, but it's definitely also not a solid coverage. I want to leave some movement in the color and coverage. Um, though getting pretty, um, making sure that I get out to the edges. But some of this movement is just going to add to the finished project. Mm -hmm. Do you hear that crackle as the transfer is coming off? That is a beautiful sound. It, it means your transfer is adhering. And you can also see the difference when the transparency kind of changes there. Mm -hmm. But if you're ever questioning whether it's transferring, you can just pull it and lay it back down and it's no big deal. I don't like that. You don't like what? <laughs> Pulling it up and putting it back down. Why? But I know that people do it and it's fine. There's things about it that I'm just not as comfortable with. It's cringy to you? Well, yeah. Just Risky? Because, well, you know how you can get debris and then it, it affects the stickiness. That's all. Oh, okay. But I do it all the time. I know, you do. And a lot of people apply them to glass and they love it and they don't have problems and there's nothing wrong with that. But I like to say that's off label use. <laughs> All right, we have this transferred. We're not worrying too much about the spots on the tape because that's going to be removed. Mm -hmm. But what we do want to do is with a clean, dry hand, after it's transferred, you want to go in, make sure everything's down, and your little flyaways are down. Mm -hmm. And then with a clean, dry shop cloth or paper towel, you, after you've made sure it's all down, you're going to burnish it down. Perfect. And that really is making sure that you have excellent contact. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, after we're done burnishing it, especially along these edges, burnish, we'll burnish, burnish. We'll just use a razor knife to, to gently, gently, not a lot of pressure, just go in along your paint tape and edge, sever the and connection, just sever it. Really, my head's in the way. It's okay. Just, in fact, you can use if you need to a straight edge, like we did for touch up, to kind of guide it and just do that, so that when you pull tape, it's not putting. Uh, stress on it and wanting to pull your edge and you get a nice clean break. Okay, so as you saw, we laid these out and there's some actual words in there um, and you can use whichever words you would like to use and then kind of backfill with other characters. Little letters that fit. Yeah, to give it this graphic kind of um, old school typeset look, which mm -hmm. we love. Now today, to mount, we are using one of the sheets that came with the stamps because we actually don't even have yet in our hot little hands the new guide gridded Thin mount, which has guide grids on it, so they're that makes awesome. It easy. You guys are gonna yeah, definitely gonna love it to get your hands on those. As always, this needs to be perfectly clean, and the backs of these need to be perfectly clean in order for you to get them to adhere properly and stay on. Lay that down. If they're not sticking, simply wash them with warm, soapy water, as hot of a temperature as your hands can handle. No you hotter. Don't want high heat. And uh, after that, once dry, they'll, it'll regain its stickiness. Yes, I'm gonna reword what she said. Not as hot as your hands can handle, but what's comfortable for your hands. <laughs> well, I'm like, I can really push that temperature. <laughs> I can handle it. You want it to be warm, soapy water. Well, they don't like high heat, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we've got a nice bada bing. And we are going to take some of our Just white mineral type paint. That's a little more than we needed. Channeling Sally. <laughs> I knew. I knew you were gonna say Just something about that. Kidding. Okay. 
And now we're going to go across the tops of these. And this is a pretty big space, so you're gonna mm -hmm. need to kind of work a little quickly. Yes. And this type of paint um, will tend to dry a little bit faster than inks. So you wanna make sure to work swiftly, but not too swiftly where yeah. you get sloppy. Right. Like that. <laughs> She's looking for a chance to redeem herself. <laughs> <laughs> After that last episode. <laughs> The, tease, the episode tease. six debacle. The episode six paint debacle. If you haven't seen it, <laughs> there was paint flying everywhere. So, okay, no. looks good. Looks good. We are going to hover over your area, and this is why you want to make sure that your letters are clean and adhered yes. properly to your sheet. Because if they fall, they're gonna go where you don't want them to go. Perfect. Okay. Now, do not shift it. Get your one hand, hold it in place while the other hand slides across the surface without shifting the sheet so that you can make sure you're making great contact with all of your characters. Perfect. Mm, I love stamping. Now when we laid it out, we had just the one U and we needed it twice in the design, so we'll just show you how to do that. When you're missing, a, you just have one letter and when you need two. Okay. Oh, Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna pull that U from, where was it? Right here. Right? Mm -hmm. And re-ink and put it right there. Perfect. Or reload, I should say, since it's not ink. This has a really cool industrial vintage feel. It does. This piece does, I love it. Very nice. All right, so now, we're gonna set this aside to dry because then we're going to distress it with coarse sandpaper. Now, let's glaze this one. We've laid out the letters for our street sign. I'm putting King Road, which was the first house that Wayne and I bought together, so it's got a special memory for me. And I've laid them out just where I want them, and I'm taking my... You were gonna mention that we base coated the raw wood. I was, but instead <laughs> you're going to mention it. <laughs> we base coated the raw wood with our dark gray paint and let that dry. Yeah, so that's dry. And we're gonna pick up the letters just like so. And I'm gonna use the same paint we used for our typeset project. There we go. Thank you. You get to do the letters, I get to do the crackle Okay. <laughs> you always get the fun part. It is so fun. It and is you super know what's fun. funny is we fight over the steps when we're doing video, and it's like, we could do this all the time. <laughs> it's like when your parents say, you get to play with that all the time. Let your guest use it. But it seems more fun when your guest wants to use the toy. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm just gonna eyeball it. If you are particular, you can lay it out, mark it out ahead. Please note that this is measured in such a way that the letters actually go off of mm -hmm. the board. That's intentional and it has a cool graphic look to it that we love. Mm -hmm. So don't get going and be like, oh, my letters don't fit. We wanna let you know ahead of time. They bleed off, it's called. Yeah, and it does, it looks cool. You guys saw it earlier. Yeah. Just like in our example. So I'm just, again, holding it still with one hand and making sure all surfaces hit. Don't shift. And here we go. Just as clean as face. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it too. I love it. Okay. 
Now, we're the going to do a little bit of crepe lure. And we're gonna go light. You go a little lighter and on your crackle lure because you do not, and random, mm -hmm. um, you're not looking for as heavy and solid of a load. So right. you'll see we've got a little bit on here, but it's not super heavy. Okay. And I'm going to not shift, especially because we, we know that space is uh, wet. We have wet characters there, so we don't want to really smush or mm -hmm. shift. I'm That's just the right amount. Right? Okay. I, I believe so. <laughs> I believe so. I believe awesome. so. Awesome! So let's let this dry and mm -hmm. then we're just going to distress the edges after it's yeah. dry. Okay. So we've already got our charcoal paint mixed up. It's two parts water with one part paint and we are going to apply it. Being careful, not too sloppy because you don't want if you can avoid it, um, <laughs> we have in the past not avoided it, it to get bleed underneath the tape. So, yeah, start in the center and work out would be one way. <laughs> <laughs> one way to avoid that. Sorry. Okay, I just kind of went for it. I know, it's okay. That's how we do it. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna come behind and block with a damp but totally squeezed out. We are now going to use the gold leaf paint to paint the edges of both the classic bouquet and the typeset piece. Now we're distressing the typeset sign and the king road. Let's go ahead and focus mostly on the edges to get a nice uh, reveal there. Okay, we are just going to focus on this little bit of script here from our kindest regards and we're only going to load that with our dark gray paint. And then we are going to center that bit right in here for an interesting added element, okay? Nice. And then after that dries, And by the magic of television, that would be right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all dry. We are going to add this um, square around it. And free hand. Free because hand. Because it's meant to be loosey goosey. And it is frifily. Go, double back over and don't the straighten is not the right term but just add more to the side that you see it needs balance the weight and voila. voila so let that dry and then you are finished and you can seal it with your sealer of choice, either clear wax or a brush-on poly type sealer. That was a fast-paced episode. However, we cover all of these techniques in previous episodes, one through six. Mm -hmm. So if there's not enough here for you, be sure to watch the previous episode. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time.
laugh because it's totally inappropriate. <laughs> what? You, you always try to be so sly when you talk in my ear. <laughs> what are you even saying? Just continue, carry on. <laughs> Wait, what were you trying to tell me? Anything? This feels so good. <laughs> Really? That's what you broke the I'm hot! I'm hot! <laughs> okay. Again, you are going to want... <laughs> Dang it, I tried so hard. <sighs> Again. I'm thinking of you whispering in my ear. I'm hot. <laughs> we really whisked through this one with a pretty brisk pace. <laughs> Why don't you choose normal words that are easy to say? <laughs> okay. We really Ready? whisked through this with a pretty brisk space. <laughs> Sorry. That, that was, was weird. Weird. And yeah. weird. 